Well, blessings on this Veterans Day. Um, my husband's here. He's not on the video, and he won't get on video very often. But anyway, <clears throat> I, I thank my husband for serving. I thank all the young men. My nephew, uh, I mean my grandson that served, I, I think all the veterans. The main reason why I'm on here today is that I had a dream, a vision in a dream last night. And it was about Obama. <clears throat> In this dream, I was in this log cabin, an old log cabin that had a fireplace on one side, and it was like a one bedroom, I mean one room log cabin, you know, mostly, and, and it, had a, it had a table there, an old, what I would call an old kitchen table could serve as a desk or whatever and had kitchen chairs around it. On the desk <clears throat> was three documents and on one of the chairs was a flag that was folded up and laid across. So I'm standing there and all of a sudden President Obama walked in to the cabin. Just him. No no security, no other no no one else. Just just him. He walks in. And he walks over to me. And he reaches out his hand to shake mine. And he didn't ask who I was or anything about it. He just reached out his hand to shake mine. And, of course, I reached mine out because <clears throat> I may not really care that much for Obama, but I would not disrespect my president. So I reached my hand out, and I, he grabbed a hold of it to sh start shaking it. <sighs> and all of a sudden... I guess you've seen the movie with the Ghost Rider, you know, that they have going on the motorcycle and he, you know, he turns in flames of fire. Well, this is what happened with Obama. <clears throat> All of a sudden, it was just like I seen at his face. I mean, it was like fire just come up and his face turned like a skeleton, a horrible, horrible skeleton. And then all of a sudden, because I kind of jerked my hand away, and he was standing there. I mean, he didn't change. And all of a sudden, there was President Washington standing there. And, you know, I've seen pictures of President Washington and stuff. And he was standing there to the left of us. And all of a sudden, President Obama turned. And he put out his hand like this. And it knocked President Washington down on the floor like he was unconscious. Then he reaches over and he takes the flag and he unfolds it and it was red and white stripes but then the, the blue background had 13 stars in a circle on it. And he takes it and he throws it, he lays it down like a sheet on, on George Washington, President George Washington. And he picks up his liquid stuff out of a glass bottle and he pours it on on the flag and upon Washington, George Washington. And, and he was smoking. Well, I know 
President Obama used to smoke, so he's supposed to quit, but he was smoking and he took the cigarette and he flipped it out on top of of George Washington and the flag and the and the residue and it just caught a fire. And it was burning. He goes over and he takes the the three documents that was on the table. One of them I could see said the Constitution. The other said the Bill of Rights, and I wasn't for sure what the third one was. I had a feeling it was like something to do with liberty and freedom. And he took and he tossed all three documents into the fire. He's and at this time, he's back to Obama. The far has gone out of his face. He's back normal. And he smiles at me and says, It was nice meeting you. And then he goes, I, he goes, I see you. I know you. And then he goes and looks at me and he says, you see me, you know me. And then he smiles just so nicely and he turns around and he walks out the door. Well, I'm following him and at this time the whole cabin is catching on fire behind us. We walk out on the porch and there was a line of people, men and women on each side. Of a, of a path that goes down and he walks off of the porch and I'm following him all the way and they're going hail Obama the great hail Obama the great and and all the way down to where there there's a stream and uh, at and there's a bridge that goes over the stream and he walks over the bridge, and I stay on this side and watch him go over the bridge, go just a little ways, and there was this big black limousine that was sitting there. Someone gets out, opens the door, he gets in, and he looks at me, he grins, and he kind of waves, and they close the door, they get up, and they drive off. Well, then I turn back, and I walk back a little bit, and everybody was standing there watching this cabin totally burn down to the ground. It incinerates down to the ground. The fire was so hot that the fireplace, that the rocks in the fireplace even melted down to the ground. They just, it melted. It was nothing left but dust and charred ashes. All of a sudden, as everybody was watching and smiling and a little bit giggling, you know, a strong wind come, picked up all of that ash and dirt and carried it and carried it over to Washington, D.C., to the White House and dumped it on Washington, D.C., on the White House, on the lawn, and covering it in darkness of ash. And then that's when I woke up. I truly believe this was a prophetic warning of a great judgment that's about to happen and that Obama will destroy the Constitution of the United States. He will destroy the Bill of Rights. He will destroy our nation as we know it. What I seen in him was pure evil. As I seen this, I knew, I knew
that this was not good. But here it is. I, I, I'm putting it out there. You all can interpret it as you will. But we do need to pray and prepare ourselves for what is coming ahead. We need to earnestly, truly seek Him, Yeshua HaMashiach, and get in His covering, in His blood covenant that He has paid for us. So, I, I know this is a short video, <clears throat> and I know this is the Veterans Day, but I felt truly led to put this out today. Because, <sighs> see, my husband served America. Uncles have served America. My grandson served America. So, <clears throat> you let God lead you in what this vision dream was all about. And I hated to bring you this on, on such an honored day to our soldiers, but it is important that you understand That without Yeshua HaMashiach, we have nothing. Without Him, we have no safety net. So please, pray, repent, and give your heart to Him. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, be blessed. Father, bless all the soldiers that have done so much. Bless on this a Veterans Day. Amen and amen. <laughs>